Thank you for staying with Republic and we now get you more breaking news coming in. We are learning that two people from Uttar Pradesh were shot at by terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir's Patkam district on Friday evening. Notably, this is the fifth terrorist attack since the 18th of October. Political parties in the valley condemned the attack with National Conference MP Aga Sayyid Ruhullah Mehdi asking why this sudden rise in such attacks immediately after the recent votes. This is a big statement coming in from within an NC leader who himself has uh, fired such an attack. This after the NC has uh, come into power and formed the government in Jammu and Kashmir. A particular rise uh, in terror attacks that has been witnessed. And uh, this is the fifth terror attack that has taken place in Jammu and Kashmir since the 18th of October. In less than a month, we have seen five terror attacks, this time around two non-locals from UP who were shot in Jammu by terrorists. All right, uh, Zenith is joining us uh, live on the broadcast to take us through the details. And Zenith, as I correct myself, there are uh, two non-locals who were shot in Badgam uh, these attacks that are particularly on the rise against non-locals. Suisha, we've been seeing that this is the sixth attack yesterday evening that took place in Badgam. Uh, this is the central Kashmir, some 20 kilometers from the Srinagar. My VJ uh, Mubashir is showing you the visual. This is a very exact spot where this happened and in the morning the forensic team has also reached to examine the entire spot. Uh, in fact, they have collected some of the samples from the spot and then uh, they use the dust to settle the stains here. And in a uh, couple of minutes they left this spot and now we are seeing that the life has turned completely normal this is the area which is quite close uh, to the highway also then you are the railway uh, next to it and the workers who have been shot at comes from uh, they are the up natives and they were shot at after returning from the work they were working on a construction of a water tank that comes under jal jeevan mission so uh, we see the locals are non locals are being targeted by the terror groups though we are picking from sources that the small weapon was also used by the terrorists to target the non-locals but what is important is that that the, both the non-locals are stable though they were first shifted to SDA uh, Mazhama sub-district hospital Mazhama and from there they were shifted to uh, JVC hospital where the doctors declared their condition stable we see yesterday evening that the, at multiple places the CASEO which is a coordinate search operation was initiated by the JNK police along with the other uh, joint forces but as of now the picture has turned completely normal though these are the attacks which are worrisome for the forces on the ground in the meantime we see the MP from Shrinagar Aga Ruhullah who's also uh, because the, he comes from the Badgam and has served um, in Badgam as a three-time MLA then has also raised the questions that why the attacks are increasing after the elected government came in power Meanwhile, he has also paid his condola, paid uh, sympathy with those who were injured in this attack. Although JNK police is maintaining that they are taking all the imports and also many of the people were detained yesterday for the questioning as far as this terror attack was concerned. This uh, castle continued for around two in the morning and now the life has resumed back but this is going to be uh, a worrisome situation and also a challenge for the forces on the ground and if this kind of attacks continues because this is the sixth attack that took place yesterday evening here in Mazham of Central Kashmir's Badgam.